This video is brought to you by ForkFest.party It's gonna be a party Well, of all my little demonstrations today This one is probably the one going to be voted least likely to get attention So over there on Donovan Street in New Hampshire Concord, I think is the office of the New Hampshire School Administrators Association. Now about a year or two ago, I kind of got them in the news a little bit by sending a news tip to the Girard at Large radio show. The NHSAA is a private organization in theory, but they were having meetings with legislators in a private building, like a Holiday Inn, if I recall. The public was uh, not allowed to attend these meetings. And, of course, the school administrators, they're almost all educrats. I assume they could probably all be educrats, for all I know, or, or their assistants of educrats in some form or fashion. So it's kind of the public's business, what they're doing, but we couldn't go in and see. We could have been arrested if we had done so. So without going on their property, I will just stand here and do what I do. I've been meaning to get out here for a, a long time, obviously, but this is the first day where the stars aligned. I'm afraid this will be a battle where the enemy doesn't even know they were in a fight, but... The biggest difference is the difference between zero and one, and I can make sure there was a difference between zero protesters and one protester today. You know, and, and it, it, it looks and seems and maybe sounds like a sideshow, but school administrators, they're like the Federal Reserve in the United States in a sense. They're the root of our troubles to a large extent. Not all of them, but if you were to have, to have, to have two roots to strike against, you know, the roots of authoritarian behavior on the part of government, one root is the Federal Reserve. That's the key thing, probably. The second most important is the education system, and that is dominated by these education bureaucracies and education associations and administrators associations and so forth it's more important than it looks well heading back uh, not really back to the farm but actually I have a slew of additional one-man protests to do today and I'm gonna head to the next one so I can get to all three of them before I run out of time and have to start doing I have some ambush interviews scheduled for today, too. You know, it's funny, I bet even the people who live in this neighborhood don't know it, but m I guess many of the streets are named after World War I alleged heroes. Of course, Haig <laughs> was a pretty bad general. And uh, let's see who else we've got. <laughs> uh, Joff, yeah, that guy lost, what, 300,000 men in the first month? Or was it two? One behind me is named for Neve or Nivelle. I don't remember how to pronounce it. And again, he was the, the guy behind the 1917 offensive that got all those people unnecessarily killed and resulted in a French mutiny. This is Concord, but in Manchester, they have a street named after Pétain. <laughs> again, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Pétain, Henri Pétain, I guess was his name. He was the guy that led the French government under the Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> and it is not named it is not named for somebody else it's not named for a different person with the same name it's named after him because most of the other streets in that area are named after World War I generals amazing what we honor and what we just pretend never happened and what and what and what we ignore and what we don't honor I will say this though I think it's good on them that they never change the names of these streets to be politically correct by the way when you think Haig, I wasn't very specific about why he was a bad general. You actually know about the battle that he fought. It was called the Somme. British lost 600, they had 600,000 casualties for no significant gain other than thwarting the, Brit, uh, the, the German attack on Verdun. They brought that to an end with their 600,000 casualties. If you want a government official to name 
a street actor who was actually a hero, I would say Henri Guisson, the general in France who are in uh, Switzerland who stopped the Germans from invading in 1940. You've probably heard of Porkfest, but have you heard of Forkfest? It's a decentralized alternative. It's also at Rogers Campground at a slightly different time. You don't even need a ticket. Visit Forkfest.party. It's gonna be a party.